Hey, it's your favorite Cue the Braider here with another how-to tutorial. You clicked on this video because you would like to see how to cheat this look. Let's talk it and let me show you how I work. First thing first, you will need a pre-prep braid rack. On this side, I have the braiding hair and this side, I have the curly human hair. So I'm gonna place it right here and reach to make the braid process easier. I'm gonna be using Expressions pre-stretch. Three bundles come into it and we're gonna be using the color number one, that's jet black. This is our human hair bundles. This was also dyed jet black. The very first step we're gonna do is pre-part the whole head. What are we gonna use to do this? Boom, shine and jam. Lock and twist, clamps invest into a parting comb. Let's get to the parting. I went on and parted out four rows. So here in the back, I have our first one here. And as you can see, I started from the temple and then stopped in the middle. One, two, three. So the next step is applying the product to the scalp. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm going to trace the first part. All right, looks good to me. So one way to double check to see if your line is straight, you can use your client's ears and see do the ends stop at the same part of the ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and part out the sections here. The sections will vary depending on how, how big or small your clients would like their braids. clamp each section out the way and start with the braid in the middle. Now I'm going to come in with my shine and jam. Once we have a good amount, we're going to comb it in. Next step would be to comb and press the products like you're going to push down and comb through so it can give that slick look. During this time, you want to go ahead and remove any flyaways that got in the way while you were prepping to keep the part nice and clean. Once you pressed everything in and you got an idea of where the braid is gonna sit, it's like a mini ponytail. That's how I do my braids. You're going to section it into three even sections. Boom, voila, we have one, two, three. And I'm about to show y'all how we get down with the knotless. Now that I have my three sections, I'm gonna grip them with the hands I feel comfortable with. The far left, I'm gripping it with the index and the thumb, the middle, the index and the thumb, and the last, the index and the middle finger. So you can go ahead and swap out or switch the fingers according to where you're comfortable. As you're gripping, you're kind of pulling down a little bit. So I'm gonna take the middle over the right. Then now we have a new middle and I'm gonna take the middle over the left. Now I stretch everything back out and make sure it's smooth. And I'm gonna come on in with my piece of braiding hair. I'm gonna add this piece of braiding hair in between my thumb and my index finger. I put a little tension on it and I swiped it in. We're gonna take our middle braid, cross over the right, and then we're gonna take the middle, go to the left. Our next piece, grab the piece, Put a little tension on it, swipe it between my index finger and my thumb. Keep your grip, the middle over the right, middle over the left. I'm gonna add another piece. So basically you're just adding the amount of pieces you need according to the thickness that the clients want. You're about three inches from the bottom you want to go ahead and grab your human hair this is how the human hair look it has a blunt side and it has a thinner side you want to add the hair in with the blunt side so i'm going to take my blunt side and i'm going to add it to that middle piece right between my index finger and my thumb so you want to take the side that's not blunt and kind of level it out 
to where you'll, you'll run out of braiding hair before you run out of human hair. So the shorter end would be in the middle. This is the blunt end. The longer end would be towards the left. I take some of the longest piece of the braiding hair and I tie a knot. You take this knot, put your index finger under, hook it on to the braid, pull it through. And there you have a knot. So I tie a knot maybe like two to four times, depending on how big the braid is. That's the more knots that I do. And there you have it. Braid, new metal, uno. On to the second braid. For this braid, I'm gonna count the amount of pieces that I used since I didn't do it on the first one. I know some of you guys struggle with how many pieces to use. So I'm gonna count, count with me. This is piece number one. Middle over the right. Piece number two. Three. Four. Nine is where I stop it. Yeah, that's the thickness that I would like. Now that we're down to the shoulder, when I'm on the first row, I don't like to put the curly hair up too high because it'll tangle on the nape very quickly. So I try to shoot for the shoulder or lower when I'm putting curly ends on the back of the hair or the first row of the hair. And this time I'm using my left hand to hold it, but it's the same concept. We're gonna take the blunt end and we're gonna place it in the middle between my index finger and my thumb. You wanna make sure the blunt side is shorter than the curly side. You're just gonna push this out the way or you can clamp it out the way. Clamp or push, whichever way works for you. And then you're going to continue the braid. And because we're going with a full boho look, I'm gonna go ahead and add another piece. Same way, blunt end to the middle push it out the way or clamp it out the way and keep braiding. Now you can add as many boho pieces as you would like according to the look that the client is going for. So to make sure your braids are neat and consistent, you wanna to try to get every step as similar as possible to each braid. So I added the human hair in around the same spot I added in on the first braid and I'm also tying the knot around the same height as the first one. Now, when you find yourself adding in the human hair and the blunt end pops out, you can just come back and cut it off. So here's braid number two with the boho sticking out. So now I'm about to go ahead and speed this process up. I'll see you guys at the top of her hair. First two rows are finished. So I'm about to go ahead and show you guys how I part. I'm gonna remove the clamp from this side first. As you can see, there's no parts in this. When parting from the middle to the edge, you wanna make sure each row is a similar thickness. Once I got an estimate, I start from the middle on the left side and I curve with the head and then go straight on the side. So when parting, you're just following the natural shape of their head. You shall see a U shape. Look all the way, all the way up so they can see the U. 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 Alrighty, now that everything is even and parted out, I'm about to go ahead and pre-part the sections and make this fast pace. So y'all ready to get done? I'm ready to get done. So we're about to speed this up.
here's the final look. If you follow all the steps of this tutorial, then your client should look like this too. Thank you all for watching my video. If you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like and comment below if you learned anything from this tutorial. See you all next video. Bye. I um, look excited or something. <laughs> and this is what we have so far. All right. <laughs> um, things, let the hair go. Uh, I appreciate you. We're going to get started now. Broadcasting live from the finest braider alive. Oh, period. And if she don't lip gloss her lips, don't trust her for questions and tips. Drops lip gloss. And she leaves lip gloss on the hot flat iron. <laughs> Don't trust <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust them. And voila. I went ahead and parted four rows. We have one in the back. Whoa. This is just going to be temporarily moved out the way because Lakia keep kicking it over. Stop the product before it get on the edges. So this will make... <clears throat> this will make... My name is Q when I do what it do. One, two, one, two, two, one, two. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs>